here welcome to another classic album show uh, this is the show that we look at those classic albums and days gone past past even um, doesn't matter what sort of genre it's from it's still usually one of them albums that was real eye-opener to us all regardless of what music we listen to um, and today is no exception we're going into the 90s today for our classic album is from a band called Alice in Chains. Now Alice in Chains are from Seattle and they were formed in 1987 by guitarist and vocalist Jerry Cantrell, drummer Sean Kinley and Mike Starr joined them on as and then lead vocalist Lane Staley. Starr was eventually replaced by Inez in 1993 and then William Ian Duval came into the band in 2006 as co-lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist replacing Staley who sadly passed away in 2002. They took their name actually from a glam band, band that Staley was in, in called Alice in Chains. So they went from um to in. Um, now I'm not a great lover of grunge music as you know but there's just something about this band I think it's because they still incorporate heavy metal and it's that distinctive vocal style I think that really I love you've got you know Sorry, you I don't know that one <laughs> I've just set off Alexa oh let's just turn that off and then it'll keep her quiet sorry about that folks yeah as I said the the, the harmonising vocals obviously first between Staley and Cantrell and then Cantrell and Duval. I really like this band but the album we're going to con concentrate on today is their second album released on the 29th of September 1992 Dirt. Um, playing on this is Lane Staley who does lead vocals rhythm guitar on Hate to Feel an Angry Chair, Jerry Cantrell on co lead vocals on Down in a Hole Angry Chair and Wood, backing vocals, lead guitar and acoustic guitar on Down in the Hole, Mike Starr on the bass, Sean Kinney on drums, got some additional personnel on this. We've got Tom Araya who does vocals on Iron Gland. So, Purdue. Produ one or two people produced it. Uh, production except Wood is Dave Jordan and Rick Parshar did the production on Wood. So did the band as well. So that's all the people involved in the album. So the first track on this great album is called Them Bones. Very short track, but it's a great track. I love those driving riffs. And again, it's it's got them the vocals between Cantrell and Staley. Great little track that is. Then we get Damn That River. Um, Mike Starr's bass line is brilliant on this. Great guitar work by Jerry Cantrell. Uh, solid track. Really like that one. Rain When I Die. Another of those starting tracks that's got a bass line and some drumming. Really nice crisp guitar work from Jerry. An excellent track. Like that one a lot. Down in a hole. This is a slower track. Um, the good guitar work is good, but the best thing about this is the vocals between Jerry and Lane. Absolutely stunning. Great singers, the pair of them, and they really com complement each other. Really good. Sick man. I love the start of this. The drums from Sean are brilliant. Uh, and the guitars come in, that boomy bass line. Really good track. Then we get Rooster, my favourite track on the album. Probably one of my favourite tracks by Alice in Chain. I just love the guitar riffs in this. 
a little solo awesome rock track that is Junkhead what I like about this this is so Tony Iommi riffing from Black Sabbath you can imagine Tony Iommi churning out a riff like this it is a brilliant song title track Dirt one of my favourite starts of any of Alison Chain's records is that dual guitar the dual vocal makes this a really outstanding track Godsmack another great track with some great riffs Mark Starr's bass line that's really adds to this track really really good then we had a thing called intro in brackets dream sequence Iron Gland it's sometimes called it's unlisted or as untitled it's just one of them weird intros to a song but it's great and then I go straight into hate to feel I just love them what I call dry sort of guitar riffs you know so dry you could your tongues but it's great just a great riff the drumming on this is brilliant then we get another fantastic track angry chair the drumming from Sean on this is brilliant uh, the bass line gives it so much atmosphere and then the last track would again the star of the show is Mark Starr the bass line really drives this song and the tightness between him and Sean a brilliant what a way to end this great album strong track so how did it do in the charts well UK only got to number 42 which was a great shame in America it got to number 6 uh, anywhere else Finnish got to number 11 in Finland Norwegian 15 and Sweden 11 so the Scandinavians liked it uh, the Australians liked it because it got to number 13 25 in a, in Canada and the Dutch number 17 certifications uh, went gold in Australia platinum in Canada gold in the UK and four times platinum in the United States I personally think this is a really good rock album it's got some great riffs in it the singing on this is um, terrific um, but they say this is sort of associated with grunge but it, I think this is a, just a, a solid rock album of the time there's elements of grunge in there of course I'm not going to say too much about the album but you might get it in the ranking because I will be doing a Alice in Chains full album ranking at some stage when I've got through your laundry list um, which I never will but I might throw it in one week just to just because I want to but on this album it's now my blue play a lot so I'm gonna give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10 okay that's all for today I'm just to let you know that I've now got on my channel there is the community that I can now um, add bits into so always check the community I am also going to use it to take some pictures of um, of Rocky because Rocky is a bit of a star on on the uh, live stream and you always look at asking about him and especially in this hot weather um, which I do appreciate you know it's, you know it's not just about me I think it's about Rocky as well and um, so I think I'm going to use this opportunity to take you some pictures of what Rocky gets up to as well if you don't know who Rocky is Rocky is um, my dog he's his birthday soon he'll be 12 in a couple of weeks time um, he's a long-haired dash hound and if you want to go and see what Rocky gets up to go and watch some of the live streams because <laughs> he can be a bit boisterous but um, if this is the first time you're watching this, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and also, if you really like what we do, go and check out some of the other videos. And uh, 
we really want to be up to date what we do because we're on every day of the week except when Saturday and Sunday unless I throw in a, a special um, so if you like that hit the red hit that subscribe hit that bell and you won't miss out so that's all for today then folks um, I'll be back tomorrow and we have got part six of the Sammy Hagar story and we're looking at the albums of Chicken Foot and tomorrow's retro ranking it's a very special one because tomorrow believe it or not it's the 45th anniversary since the passing of the king of rock and roll Mr. Elvis Presley so we got a special top 20 Elvis songs to sort of celebrate the music of Elvis Presley so join me for that bye for now